Gill, and I will be representing Troop 5869. Today, I will be doing a monologue from The Legend of Georgia McBride by Matthew Lopez and The Misanthrope by Moliere. Thank you. One night, back in Houston, I'm walking out to my car, about to drive across town to do another show when a, a brick hits me in the face. Right here. Then another brick in the back of the head, right here. By now, I'm on the ground, and I look up to see two of Houston's most promising young citizens preparing to kick the living shit out of me. So I get to my feet, and I face my attackers, and I say, well, show me what you got. They did all right. <laughs> Seven stitches. Eighteen. Broken. Busted. False. I was sixteen years old. And I still have the guts to walk out to my car every night as I am. Because I'm a drag queen bitch. <laughs> You can sell out every show and hear nothing but ovations, but when your ass hits the door, it's in blue jeans, not sequins. Because when you look at yourself in the mirror each night, there's a part of you that's still ashamed. And because of that, you will always be an amateur. You can keep those outfits. I don't want them anymore. They've been sitting in this dressing room for so long, they've begun to stink of mediocrity. <laughs> but maybe you're just used to that smell. <laughs> By Jove! I do not see when looking at myself why I am so sad. I am rich. Um, I come from a family which can call itself noble with some appearance of truth, and thanks to the rank I hold from my ancestors, there are few positions for which I am not fit. I have tact, perfect manners, good looks, particularly fine teeth, and uh, a very elegant figure. <laughs> now, with all these advantages, my dear Marquis, I do think that a man may barely rest satisfied with himself in whatever country he may be. Thank you.